Hello. Um, <laughs> sorry if I'm out of breath. I literally just had to run home. Um, we don't have to do it, but I thought for me, because I'm starting to get into trying to do a little bit more vlogging, trying to do a little bit more, uh, a little bit more like a day in the life sort of stuff, uh, just to kind of get me into it. Um, so I don't know if me and Jacob talked about it on the podcast. If not, we probably will end up talking about it on the podcast. But because Sydney is still in lockdown for at least by the time this comes out hopefully and we've been locked down for another four weeks hopefully just four weeks hopefully it doesn't go any longer um we have decided to in a way to take our minds off this thing uh to do something called the 75 hard uh, and for that who uh, don't know what it is the 75 day hard is a mental health and physical health challenge where for 75 days you have to follow a strict set of rules and you have to complete those rules every day otherwise you fail and you have to start at the beginning again and those rules are you have to take a progress photo of yourself every day uh, you have to do two exercises uh, both 45 minutes and one has to be outside you have to drink it is american they say four gallons here uh, uh, sorry they say a gallon of water so in Australia, so here it's um, four liters of water. You have to read ten pages of a book every day, and it has to be non-fiction. And audiobooks don't count. Like no bad food and no, not a drop of alcohol, which isn't uh, which isn't a total dischange from what I do. I mean, I occasionally like to have a drink, which means no whiskey, unfortunately. So this is day one of the challenge. I've done my progress photo. I've gone for my first exercise. I just went for a walk and I've already drank three liters of water. <laughs> and it, and I had to sprint home because I was going to burst. The last 10 minutes of the walk was like a power walk. I was going to burst, it was ridiculous. I think I was standing in front of the toilet for like a minute. <laughs> yeah, so far, I, I, I think for me, I will try to do as many vlogs of this as I can, and the goal is to get to 75 days. Uh, well, hopefully I will get, well, mentally I will get there. And if I fail, I fail, and I'll just try again. Uh, but I highly recommend uh, that you guys check out the 75 day hard challenge. So far, it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's motivation. It's motivation, basically. It's, uh, let's, make some, let's make some breakfast. Okay, so I was going to make breakfast, but I thought we had spinach. We don't have any spinach. We're gonna get some spinach. <laughs> spinach. More spinach. Okay, now I'm gonna cook a healthy breakfast. I don't have a tripod stand. I just touched the waffle maker and it's all greasy. I don't like it. Uh, how do you make scrambled eggs? Oh, this is 10 out of 10 content. Alright, that's good. Yeah, it's fine. You can always add more milk. Or cow juice, as I like to call it. <laughs> The eggies. The you know it's good to turn the, the the egg when stuff happens to it. Oh, actually, you know what'd be really good with this? Ham. Does this look right? Does this look right to all of? the foodies out there. Healthy. Now we kill the heat. Mm -hmm. Ah, what have I done?
Hiya. Now we're going to let that sear and be a good boy. I've wanted to make scrambled eggs, ended up making an omelet. But these are the things we do. These are the things that make us grow as chefs. <coughs> Welcome back to cooking with kiddo and how not to do what I do. I really hope this tastes good because if not, I fucked up my breakfast. <laughs> it's moving. Ah, oh, fuck. Hiya. Hey, actually it doesn't look too bad. So in all seriousness, so me and Jacob have actually decided to do this challenge to not only take our minds off the virus, we do like a good challenge and also it will, I, I, th this whole challenge is, you know, supposed, is, it, it, it's supposed to change your mental state. It's a, well not change, it's supposed to help you grow mentally, you know, change, like, change, have, change bad habits, the good habits version of yourself if you can make it to 75 days of following you know these uh, following these uh, uh, following these rules just trying to make it to 75 <laughs> see how this how this turned out huh? that's not bad Okay, I am, I am, uh, at day two of the, um, I'm at day two of the challenge, and I'm, I've got a splitting headache, and I'm really tired. can feel my body really, really wanting to have some sort of sugar. God, I feel like I've hit a wall. <sighs> okay. Uh, I am on day seven of the 75 hard. I apologize if you can't understand me. Currently I'm in New South Wales and I'm in lockdown again, <laughs> but uh, day seven and on my first walk of the day and I feel just a hundred times better than how I did a couple of weeks ago. And I look forward to completing this challenge and I'm gonna try and keep vlogging I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can and I hate vlogging out in the open because it's nerve-wracking so one of the things I do uh, on my first walk of the day is I get up and I go and get a cup of coffee from a place called the Barista Sun in Oatley, which is a suburb just pretty close to me. And then from there, I make my way back home and I make breakfast. Home at last. Alright, let's make some breakfast. Okay, so every day of this challenge, I've part of my diet is I make breakfast for myself. So I make an omelet in the morning pretty easy standard thing to do. I'm usually, I'm usually good, like I've gotten pretty good at it. Today, I don't know what happened. It just, I mean, if you, if you squint, it kind of looks like an omelet, kind of. It'll still taste good, hopefully. Be fine. All right, so just had breakfast. Um, didn't taste bad. Tasted exactly how it usually tastes. It tastes like an omelet, but it was deformed. <laughs> Currently on the waters, and now I'm going to go and read 10 pages of my book. 
which I've actually been looking forward to doing ever since I've started this challenge. That was, that was one of the big things that I thought I was going to struggle the most with, was reading. Because the first, the last thing I do is I go towards a book. So, happy that that isn't the big challenge. So, right, let's go do it. Um, okay, so, what to tell you? I have done stuff. <laughs> so I've I've had breakfast, I've gone for my first walk of the day, um, and I've read my book. Currently I am reading, actually I can go get the book actually. I'm currently reading, uh, I, I, hope, I hope you guys can read it. it it's called Crush It. Um, it's a book by Gary Vanderchuk. He, he's a very knowledgeable person. It's about uh, online business and how to succeed in the online world, which is what real talk is. And yeah, it's just it. I look forward now to reading uh, reading his book every day. Um, actually, this is kind of because this, I'm actually a little bit sad because I'm almost done with it. And I reckon they'll probably get me th halfway through next week. And then I'm going to have to jump onto another book. But I'm excited for that. Um, I probably might just read through it again, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, and now I'm uh, just waiting for Jacob to get home. And so that we can do the podcast, which is currently set up over there. As you can see... And when he gets home, we'll start filming, and we'll film the podcast, and and then yeah, we'll take it from there. So just finished off the water for today, and Jay. So we've done the podcast, done my water for today. Jacob came home. Hello, and. I don't know if I've already said it before, but um, he's also he, him, and our friend Trent got us on to the seventy-five hard challenge, and it is a lot easier to do with other people. It's just going back and forth saying, "Have you done this? Have you done this?" So it's it makes it very hard to forget something. Um, but so far, eight days in, and feeling. I mean, how do you feel? I feel good. You feel good? Yeah, I need to pee all the time, but other than that, I feel good. Yeah, I need to pee too. Actually, I, was, I really need to pee during the last 10 minutes of the podcast. Excellent uh, stuff. Excellent stuff. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, besides that, I feel a lot better than I did a couple of weeks, than like a couple of weeks ago. That being said, there is a, still a long way to go. We are eight days in and we have... Close to like nine weeks still? Nine and a half weeks? Nine weeks. Just nine, over nine weeks. Just yeah. over nine weeks to go on this challenge. So it's no way. Seven days. Yeah. <laughs> so we still got a fair bit to go. Um, again, I'm going to try and keep vlogging as much as I can, including while I'm outside and while I'm going on walks. I was actually like almost hit by some. Someone almost hit me with their bike today while I was vlogging. <laughs> what a twat. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. Eight days in, feeling strong, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. All right, bye.